What's going on guys? This is Nelson. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how I do my real estate uh, content, how I put it out, what I do, what I use, and uh, hope you enjoy the video. Let's get right into it. So um, after doing tons of research on YouTube um, to find the best iPhone gimbal, um, I feel like the Osmo DJI is the best one, or that's just my opinion. But um, there's a package where you don't have to get all the accessories, but I recommend it. It's a little bit more, but um, it's, it's important because you definitely need a tripod for it. It unscrews and you screw it back on there. What happens if you don't get it? Um, you're gonna have to have one because if you're doing something and then you want to set this down, you set it down, it falls right out. So this definitely keeps it up. So you just screw it and it's ready to go. Bam. All right, so um, let me show you how to use it. It's fairly simple. Um, this is the gimbal. You want to stabilize the phone first and make it straight, as straight as possible. It's not going to be perfect every time, but um, you just hold the button and it's ready to go. So this right here, um, if you click the M, you actually go horizontal and vertical on it. As simple as that. The other gimbals out there, you have to unscrew the back and you rotate this. So it just makes it um, quicker, you know, especially when I'm out there in the field, wanting to do a quick video, shoot it out to a client, post it on my social media. So real uh, user friendly, I feel. Um, you also have the joystick for it and then you have the record button. There's other little features back here like this, this button here goes, zooms in, zooms out. Um, the app is actually really cool, but it's really technical for me. I like simplicity, so I just go ahead and use a regular camera. But it's up to you, that's personal preference. You have a trigger in the back when you hit it a few times, it actually goes on sports mode. So if you're like doing something real fast, you can actually chase it and, and, it, and it works really well. Um, or if you wanna keep it steady, you can also do that. But let me show you guys, give you an example of how you use it. So if you hit the camera and then you go to video, with the new 0.5 lens, um, it's actually cool because you get actually a, a nice, uh, a more visual of the whole concept, right? Especially if you do it uh, vertical. So you can do it two ways. Uh, for stories on Instagram, I would suggest it like this. And for videos, I suggest it horizontal. So so you can have an idea, you press record, and look how it, uh, how it records real nice and smooth. What I do have to say with the um, new iPhone, the wide lens, it's great when it's good lighting but when it's dark as you can see the quality loses pretty bad but uh if you're doing on one you know the, the video comes out real nice and crispy you see so if you're doing real estate videos guys please do it when there's you know during the day when there's a lot of light open the blinds and stuff like that so this is definitely a uh, game changer this gimbal i just recorded another video which i'm trying to get better at editing and stuff like that not try to be a videographer because that's not the idea but when i'm sending out to a client out of state i wanted to have that real good visual and the walk through as if they were there right so um let's get right into it let me know what you guys think about the video i'm gonna slide it next and um, of course leave a comment below give me your feedback what do you think about it what should i do better and that will you know greatly be appreciated so don't forget to hit the subscribe button like it and of course share it if there's somebody out there that can use this content so guys thanks for watching and let's jump right into it